All right. Yeah, but like um, I forgot I was talking to you about not giving a shit. And yes, not giving a shit is now a conversation topic for me. Hmm. But I was like, no, you don't understand how freeing it is simply not to care. Mm, that creeper helped a little bit. The skeleton, the skeleton, however, is not helping at all. Freeloader. Kill him for his bones. Oh yeah, I've got a lot. I've got a decent amount of skeleton bones. Arrows are good too. Yeah, I wish I had more of those. Well, you're not even a very good shot. No, I'm not. Time won't find a lot. Now I'm. Uh, I think it might be Giant Song is stuck in my head now. Oops. Because there's just when time won't find a lot, it'll sweep up our skeleton bones. Mm, now that I said skeleton bones, and now that song is stuck in my head, and that's not going to go away until I listen to it later. Until then, it's going to drive me insane. Good, good. Yeah. Yes, but, uh, freedom of not giving a shit is one of the things that I think has helped me age. Like, and I mean that literally, it has helped me age. As I age, just, uh, oh, look, all the stuff that I used to love as a kid was be is being remade horribly now. Hmm. I don't care. This It does not unmake the stuff I loved when I was a kid. Like, so many people I know are upset about the new Ghostbusters movie, and I'm like, I don't care, I'll still watch it. I'll see what it's like before I make my uh, make, uh, my decision. And even if I don't like it, I don't care. The original Ghostbuster movies still exist. Why, well, you know. And the only thing I can say is I agree with Kevin Smith on the matter. Which is, in a movie trailer, you always put the best jokes. Because that's how you get people in. That's how you grab their attention. That's how you make them want to see the movie. Every joke in that trailer was so old that it's probably... Er, that it could probably go into the Smithsonian. It's just now it's old, but with ghosts and, you know, nuclear accelerators. Right. I will, however, say I know that a lot of people are complaining, but I am in love with all the props. Except for the stupid bear trap thing. That looks like something that should have come with one of the old Ghostbusters action figures. Which always came with the most ridiculous looking toys, or props possible. But, you know, I, I, I like it because in the original Ghostbusters movies, all those props they were using were actually based heavily off of the actual technology they were supposed to be emulating. So, the proton packs... We're suppo supposed to slightly resemble a nuclear accelerator, you know, like a hydron collider. Yeah. And the new proton packs and stuff were actually designed with that same idea in mind. And like, hey, that's pretty cool. And the PKE meters look a bit more up to date and futuristic, and that's kind of cool. And I'm I'm willing to give it a shot just because I like the year. The only thing I'm pissed about is Ecto One. Because they picked the most generic hearse possible. The reason they picked the Packard hearse for... I think it was Packard. For the original Ghostbusters movie was because it looked stylish. Yeah. And they picked the least stylish, most generic hearse possible for Ecto-1. And I was actually pleased to see one of the actresses. And I can't remember the actress's name, unfortunately. Um... I think she's playing the new... She's playing the female Ray. I'll put it that way. Uh, was actually complaining about the... Uh, oh, what's his name? The, the... Fuck, I just said it a minute ago. Preview. Uh, and saying that she was very upset when they pulled the... 30 years ago... You know, they saved New York. When it's not supposed to be a sequel, it's supposed to be a reboot, so it automatically referenced the old movie in a way that's going to remind people that it doesn't technically exist anymore. Uh huh. And I was like, that was a horrible idea. And like, well, the studio is already planning to lose money on this and have it turned into a tax deduction. So, there you go. 
There's reboots. Have there been any reboot movies that have done well? Nothing comes to mind. Yeah, I think that's exactly the thing. I wonder how many videos of mining dirt I have now. That's a good question. I'm going to have to look next time I stop. But, I don't know, I'm still willing to have a shot because I actually, I am sad that the black woman who is a very funny woman I have seen is playing that one role that Hollywood will allow funny black women to play. The, the role of the funny black woman. Yeah. yeah. That, that single character type where they have to be hyper-religious and loud. Or, well, I'm assuming, or at least there have to be religious undertones, like her screaming, The power of Patty compels you! And that was supposed to be clever and funny. Ah, Hollywood. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's just... I, I, all, all of the women in this movie are good. They're all good actors. They're all funny. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot, open-minded, and see. And might even pay to see it in a theater as opposed to, uh, go, you know, going over to a friend's house who has stolen it and watch it. <laughs> might even do uh, that. Let's, let's not get ridiculous here, Jay. Yeah, well. I might even do that for, um, the new Captain America movie. Because I'm curious about that. But, I yeah. Saw Winter Soldier. It was good. It was actually very good. Um, yeah, that's what I hear. I just kind of had a chance to go see it. I mean, it was... After, after it was returned, it was good. Here's the thing. It falls into me the same category as Avatar. Or the movie Avatar. You know, James Cameron, Cameron's Dances with Thunder Smurfs. Uh-huh. Uh, which is... It was very good. I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember anything about it being that important other than the introduction of Bucky. And there was a machine that was a Nazi. And then S.H.I.E.L.D. turned out to be Nazis. And that's it. That's all I remember about it. And in spite of the fact that S.H.I.E.L.D. was literally going insane and taking over the Earth, uh, neither the Hulk nor Iron Man showed up because reasons. Right. And, oh god, so I think apparently there's the mention, or the possibility that Robert Downey Jr. might not be Iron Man in future movies. Because of how much it costs to hire him now. And it's just one of those guys, guys, just just pay him. I need to light up better down here. There's a creeper. When he said it's light... Spider, but that's less of an issue. When he said light up, my immediate reaction was almost about to go, blaze it! Because internet. Right. And then I wanted to hit myself. Right. Well, it comes from my knowing old stoners. Well, that was kind of disappointing. Mm -hmm. The uh, creeper did less to help mine this out than I expected. I see what it is. I think it's when creepers explode near you, this game suddenly does a little lag spike for me. Well, that's only the second one that's done that, so... Well, that sounds about right. I mean, I've only had like three sudden lag spikes. The other one could be related to something else. Well, the last time you complained about the lag spike, I wasn't even near a creeper. Okay, then, unless a uh, skeleton killed a creeper somewhere. Maybe, but I don't know. Unlikely. I'm not sure that actually happens if we're not there to see it. It would be if they attacked something like a villager or a golem and the creeper got in the way. But there are no villages around. Yeah, that's true. How many more layers am I? Alright. One, two, three. Right, hold on. It would be way smarter to... Alright, 54. All right, so I'm down like five layers. I got to dig out. <laughs> that means we're almost halfway down. Hooray! All of my hate. Look, you're the one who had this idea in the first place. I know. I know. This is all my doing. All 
I have almost exhausted my supplies of wood just from sticks and shovels. <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to have way more resources than me way faster. Because you're actually mining things. But I get... Yeah. I, this is going to be so boring. There's going to be, like, negative views on it. Every video, I'm going to have to try and come up with a title for this. Like a title card for this. That way it's not just pictures of me in dirt. <laughs> I may just make the title card pictures of dirt. Now that I think about it. Just me, just me mining dirt will be the title card for every video if I remember to do that. I've accidentally taken so many screenshots while mining dirt. Because my fingers are not... Or reaching for the F2 keys by accident instead of the uh, number key 2. Uh, in 14, that cycles to the tank for when I am healing. So. The back to tank? Yes. I had one of those things. I'm not sure if it was an insult or a compliment the other day. No, nah, I did a super kami guru impression and they went, wow, that's really good. Like, I think I might feel insulted because I don't have that much jowl. <laughs> I don't know anyone who has that much jowl, actually. That's a long jowl. Yeah. And I, of course, it's one of the things where every time I am on the microphone, I try and do it. And then I play it for people that had me, or heard me do it when we're just, like, sitting around goofing off. Like, that sounds nothing alike. How did you do that? Like, the Popo -po impressions. When I'm just sitting around and we're playing D&D &D and I'm like, Listen up, maggots. It sounds perfect. And right there was fucking terrible. Yeah, it was. I can tell, and, you know, like, I've had friends try and record me for their ringtones. And, like, the second they pull it out, I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, did, did you just have a seizure? Are you okay? He's, and, I also think it's because I'm used to speaking slightly louder for the microphone than I normally speak. Uh. So, well... Okay, uh, my voice goes between kind of quiet and I am bellowing when I am speaking normally because, you know, I have um, the not good hearing anymore. So, I will go where my voice level just goes all over the fucking map. But I'm kind of used to the thought that I have to explode a creeper again. Well, at least you... Goddamn, these creepers are helpful. I mean, like, blew out three blocks. Well, I'm surrounded by dirt. Are you surrounded by dirt or stone? Well, dirt on top, stone on the bottom. Alright, fair enough. The creepers are helping me get rid of the dirt. If I could lure more creepers in, I would. I thought creepers were supposed to lure you in. Yes. Panel vans and such. Yes. Candy and puppies. I want to get a, like, panel van and write free candy on the side and just offer free candy to adult males. <laughs> you know, like, no one else. Just drive around like, hey, you want some candy? <laughs> then just give them, like, Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Pops. The thing is, think about where you live. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that around here. I'd go yeah, somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'd go somewhere it was civilized before I do that. And I know everyone automatically, like... I, I still have trouble trying to explain to people that... Because everyone hears on the news about Baltimore and Baltimore City, and... I'm like, no, no, I, I actually live in an almost entirely white neighborhood. It's not what you think it is. I still don't trust any of these fuckers. I mean, like, the the, uh, the neighbors who live across the street who are, you know, African-American or, like, a nurse. And I think her children are nurses, too. 
I'm like, no, they're fine. I mean, they can't park for shit. And apparently they don't know what driveways are for, but, you know, they're, they're good neighbors. I wouldn't want to get rid of them. But the motherfucker who lives next door to there is sketchy as fuck, and I'd like to see... Or, and I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up in jail for, you know, drug dealing or child molestation or, you know, something terrifying. He looks like he probably would wear people's skin suits. No, he, he's that... He is that level of muscly white guy that makes you think he's probably a serial killer. I don't know how to put it. Like, yeah, he does manual labor for a living, but he doesn't need to be that large. But he obviously doesn't work out. Because he still has a gut, but he is, he's a plumber, but a plumber, all the other plumbers I have known are not this large. I can just imagine he carries around a lot of bodies in his free time. Well, you know, gotta keep busy. Yeah, I mean, hobbies are important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like when my mom went to Detroit and tried to explain to all the little old ladies that the crackheads where we live were all white people. They could not comprehend it. Like, yeah, well, they, uh, tell them, yeah, I'm worried about the, you know, the crackheads in the neighborhood. They're starting to grow in number. And then, well, yeah, blah, black people never really properly you know, melded in with, uh, with society. And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? It's white people. All the black people in our neighborhood are doctors and lawyers. They just stared. Like, no, no, it's just you, Detroit. It is just fucking you. Uh. Of course, you know. I guess that's what happens when it, when you drink poison. Uh. Stay ever classy. Yeah. Well, that's Flint, Michigan, not Detroit, to be fair. Look, all of Michigan is Detroit. Yeah, it is. Both, you know, the adjective and the location. Right? That's how I was saying it. Yes. This Detroit is fucking here. I don't know who started saying that, but some YouTuber I listened to used to say it. And, um, I picked it up from listening to his videos while I was doing other things. I think I picked it up from you. And the best part about it is no one ever fucking questions it. Like, right? when you say it, they know what you mean. There is no... Oh, that one episode of Voyager thing. Yeah, that one episode of Voyager. Like, my friend, who is still just getting into Star Trek and learning about it, I said to him, that one episode of Voyager, and he went, the one with the lizards? I'm like, yes. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When you have, you know, I mean, granted, he has now watched... In the span of a few months, all of Star Trek, from start to finish, two times. Oh, okay. So, he is very, very into it. In a not entirely sane way. Right. But, it was just a, when I said, that one episode of Voyager, he's like, ah, uh, blah? Like, yes, now you know our pain. It will never stop being that one episode of Voyager. No. No, everyone will always know what you mean when you say that one episode of Voyager, and everyone will always shake their head and feel bad when you mention that one episode of Voyager. Ow. Ow? I just fell out of my house into the pit. <laughs> Man. At least you're going to be, or you'll be able to watch the episodes of this up until we start building our giant monsters. <laughs> uh, could be weeks from now. Yes, a very, very, very long time. It's actually a good place to end this episode.